everybody. I'm Sock Valley Media Assistant Sports Editor Christopher Heimerman. here with my beautiful wife Kayla. Hello. We're here for the latest edition of the video portion of our blog, The Soul Goal, as we train for the Wisconsin Marathon uh, upcoming in early May. Uh, Kayla right now is preparing some, uh, some carbonara that we're going to be having for dinner. Oftentimes on Sundays the schedule gets kind of tight, so uh, trying to knock out two birds with one stone. Usually uh, a pasta dish like this is great uh, for the night before uh, a long run, like a seven mile run we just pulled off, but you know, carbs are great at any time during a training schedule. So she's getting that ready and you know, honey, I, I say we, we were just over a seven mile run and I can actually say, interestingly enough, just a seven mile run. You know, we had uh, 10 miles last weekend, nine the Sunday before, so you know, it, all of a sudden seven doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's, it's all relative depending on what you're training for. Obviously, when you're uh, training for a five or a 10K, you know, five miles is the long distance, you right. know, or something like that. But yeah, in the scheme of uh, half marathon and marathon training, uh, seven miles is kind of small pickings, I guess. And that's sort of the uh, mentality I tried to go out with today. Yeah, and it's kind of like anything in sports. You know, you see a team getting ready to play a team with a losing record, and it's easy to overlook what you interpret as you know, maybe an easier run or, or an easy challenge. But you know, sometimes those shorter runs can kind of come up and bite you. So, I, kind of the the subject of today's video is is bad runs. Uh, it, Kayla today had a little bit of a struggle. Uh, yeah, it, it, there were some body pain issues, and frankly, it's just it's it's cold outside compared to what it's been recently and as a lifelong sufferer from asthma you, know, you struggle with your breath out there a little bit. Yeah, today's run was hard mostly because of that. Um, you know, the cold really does funky things to your breathing. Um, for all of us, asthma or no asthma, uh, you know, or other respiratory issues, you know, aside, um, it just, I don't know, things are drier and, and colder, the air bites when it comes into your lungs and for me, my reaction in the cold is, you know, I feel tight and pain and all kinds of things and, and, and my nose is dripping and my throat is, you know, sticky and, and that's the best word I can think of right now and so you want to clear it. So I'm constantly kind of coughing and trying to catch my breath and trying to remember to slow my breathing and and tr trying to do too many things at once and it ends up getting kind of jumbly. And so obviously this isn't a uh, testimonial for everyone out there who's thinking about training for a marathon, but no, I, I think what you're getting at though is that it can really affect a lot of different things. And yeah. the key out there is to relax, mm -hmm. realize that you're not out there on race day, you're not out there to set a PR, to make sure that you get through it. You don't risk injury because like she said, you, you can tighten up certain sets of muscles and you can put yourself in jeopardy if you allow the, if you allow yourself to let some of those other factors affect the way that you're running. But, and we got through it, and frankly, I thought the uh, I thought the last few miles, I was very impressed with your perseverance, and I was impressed with the fact that you know we finished relatively strong compared to where we started out. Yeah, you know, I, I we were trying to kind of debrief on the run and say where did we go wrong or what was the issue. I said, you know, as we were heading upstairs to you know shower and change and stuff, I said, you know, did we go out too fast? Maybe that was it. Maybe I was overzealous and and. You know, I don't know if that's true. I mean, I felt I felt good the first maybe mile or so, and then it was you know our typical hill, and that's always a struggle, yeah. especially in the cold and the wind. Um, but then, yeah, somehow in the middle, it just man really struggling, and, and I couldn't help but want to take a walk break, and and um, you know, it just, I just I kept telling myself, okay, I'm halfway through. Okay, I'm a little more through. You know. Um, Use those walk breaks to, your, to my advantage to, to catch my breath, to reassess how I feel, um, to know if I need to slow down um, or speed up, you know, so that I get home faster, <laughs> um, things like that. Well, I think, it, like you touched on for a moment there, the, the key is after the fact, if you're training with somebody, talk about it after the fact. You know, it's and that's, that's the beautiful thing about training with your wife is, is Kayla and I talk about everything. Uh, but, you know, vocalize yourself, ask each other questions, you know, find out exactly, you know, where things might have gone askew. And if you're training by yourself and you know someone else is training, give them a call after the fact. You know, that's the only way that you can you know, avoid re repeating the same fate is by, you know, sort of analyzing things after the fact and seeing where you can get better. So, um, but yeah, bad runs are going to happen. Uh, when, when you do a, a few dozen runs leading up to a marathon, and we've already put in over a hundred miles, so you know we're kind of getting into the place where we're going to run into a couple of stinkers along the way. So and they're really good just to kind of reassess and and you know 
make you think about where you are and how far you have come and teach you some lessons. You know, we talked a couple of videos ago about how after each run you learn something. Well, mm -hmm. bad runs, you know, you got to take away the, the lessons from those too. I mean, yeah, they're tough, but the best thing I think you said to me today is don't beat yourself up about it. They happen. Yeah. You know, get over it. Mm -hmm. it. It's crappy. Yeah, it doesn't feel good to hurt and to cough and to, you know, feel sluggish, but... Um, but I, but I still did seven miles today, and I still get to cross it off in the training plan, and I still, you know, learned maybe how to improve next time. Well, and you're also going to get your uh, new contact lenses tomorrow. She lost a yeah. contact yesterday, so going out there with wearing <coughs> glasses and dealing with foggy glass syndrome, no fun either. But, um, but yeah, we're, we don't we don't want to take up too much of your time. Obviously, try to keep these videos on the on the brief side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't pitch in here a little bit, help help Kayla finish off dinner before I got to head into work. Um, speaking of work, something I've come to rely on at work a lot is soda pop, and I'm cutting that out of the diet um, altogether. Uh, I've been kind of weaning myself off it little by little, and uh, that's, that's the recent post uh, on the blog at SawValley.com, so check that out. Check out the older videos, the older blog posts, and yeah, like put, uh, let us know your, uh, your comments, your questions. You know, do it on the website itself, uh, like uh, Sock Valley Sports on Facebook, where you know, I do a lot of commenting about the blog. And yeah, we'll catch up with you guys next weekend. And until then, uh, like we talked about, don't let, the, uh, don't let the rough runs get you down. A lot of great runs to come, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye.